We acknowledge and pay our respects to the Ghana people, the traditional custodians whose ancestral lands we gather on. We respect and value their past, present, and ongoing connection to the land and cultural beliefs. Their cultural and heritage beliefs are still as important to the living Ghana people today. Vivian and Hussein, the wonderful conveners of this project, started work on Ost-Arab relations several years ago. From the idea that increased relationships and understanding would benefit both regions. And there are very significant opportunities in this area. In 2022, they wanted to build on their highly successful 2021 conference with smaller events that build engagement between participants and achieve networking with the COVID resilient design. Focusing on three elements that they believe have real potential to grow with the benefits for both the MENA region and Australia, business, education, and the legal profession. My name is Rima Luthmani. I was asked to be their project manager just a week after I submitted my thesis. Being from Saudi Arabia, it's been a great opportunity for me to be able to bring my cultural background to the table. As such, you'll be seeing a lot of me today as the MC for this evening. Today we hear from guests, speakers with contributions in all three areas, but then crucially turn to you to build and to build on those ideas and create connections. We have been extremely fortunate to work with renowned firms in the Middle East. We have in Dubai, Al Tamimi and Co. From Cairo, we have Al Fishawi and Al Shazli. And in, El Do in Doha, we have KNL Gates, and we are extremely thankful and grateful for them to participate in this. I'm still keeping my fingers crossed that this hybrid format works, so if you see anything that's not supposed to happen, just ignore it. <laughs> uh, without further ado, I would like to ask the College of Business, Government and Law Vice President and Executive Dean, Michael Gilding, to give his opening remarks. 